How's it going everyone? My name is Miguel Fuentes and today is um, Wednesday, February the 5th. And uh, today uh, we're, we're going to be continuing on the series on the um, on the uh, the book of Hebrews chapter 2. So if you don't if you don't know me, my name is Miguel Fuentes and I'm the associate pastor at Lifeline Revival Online Church. And uh, it's, I'm, I'm just, you know, welcome you. And, and you know, if you, if you need any prayer requests, feel free to comment down below. Um, and yeah, so before we get started, let's pray first. Heavenly Father, just thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you, Lord, for this awesome time, Lord, as I worship you, Lord, as I give you all the praise and glory and thanksgiving. Father, <clears throat> I ask of you in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would, uh, if we have sin in our hearts, Lord, we repent of our sins. Lord, we look unto you, Lord, as our as our author of our, sorry, um, we look to you as, our, as uh, the author and finisher of our faith, Lord, and to really understand that you are truly amazing, that you truly an awesome God that we serve. And uh fathers I pray that I let your word not return void and uh, I pray that you give me words to say. By faith I pray that I let your word be an impact upon upon uh these people's hearts and um yeah. So may God bless you Lord. Uh, sorry, Lord, I thank you, Lord. We we praise you, we glorify you. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen and amen. Alright. So sorry about the uh the line the line ah the lining. Um why right now I'm charging the uh the uh, my laptop and the uh the the, the uh what's called <clears throat> the plug out lid's kinda of weird. Uh only, only one works so um just you know Hopefully that the hopefully this not be an issue at all. Um so yeah, so let's keep going on. Um turn with me in Hebrews chapter two. And this is a really short chapter. Kinda of sort of, but we'll see. So let's read. Therefore, we should be more attentive to what we have heard. Least we draft away. For if the word spoken by angels was true, and every sin and disobedience received a, a just Recomposition, no, no, we, we come, we come, what, we, recompense, how shall we escape if we, ne if we neglect such a great salvation, which was first declared by the Lord, <clears throat> and was confirmed confirmed to us by those who hear him. God also bore them witness with signs and wonders and diverse miracles and with gifts of the Holy Spirit distributed according to his will, so according to his own will. For it was not to the angels that he has subject the world to come, of which we are speaking. But someone in a in in contained place testifies, saying, "What is man that you are mindful of him?" Or the Son of Man, that you care for him. 
You made him a little lower than the angels. You crowned him with glory and honor and sent him over the works of your hand. You have put all things in subject under his feet. For in subject for in subjecting all things under him, he left nothing that is not subject to him. Yet now we do not see all things subject to him, but we see Jesus who was made a little lower than the angels to suffer death. Crowned with glory and honor, so that he, by the grace of God, shall experience death for everyone. For it was fitting for him, for whom, and by whom, all things existed. And bringing many sons to glory, to make the author of their salvation perfect through suffering. For all both, he who sacrifices and those who are sanctified are all of one. For this reason he is not ashamed to call themselves, sorry, to call them brothers, saying, I will declare your name to my brothers. In the midst of the congregation, I will sing praise to you. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, here I am in the children whom God has given me. So then, as the children share in flesh and blood, he likewise took part in these things. So that they, uh, so that through death he may destroy him who has the power of death, that is the devil, and deliver those who through fear of death were throughout their lives subject to bondage. For surely he does not help the angels, but he helps the seed of Abraham. Therefore, in all things, it was necessary for him to be made like his brothers, so that he may be a merciful and faithful high priest in all things pertaining to God, to make atonement for the sins of the people, for since he himself suffered while being tempted, he is able to help those who are being tempted. Alright. So that's the end of chapter 2. So there's uh, three things that whoever wrote the book of Hebrews says. Number one, do not neglect salvation. Number two, the sons made lower than the angels. And three, bringing many sons to glory. Ah, oh. all right. So I just <clears throat> second up the uh, the hall, I'm trying to relax my vocal cords some. <clears throat> and so, let's take the first part. <clears throat> Number one, do not neglect salvation. Obviously, someone who wrote the book of Hebrews that this is the great salvation that the Lord had given us. And, you know, as I, as I um, reflect on this, you know, God always... You know, always have a redemptive solution. 
Uh, for example, like in the book of Judges, we see how God uses the judges to bring the children of Israel back to God. After they, after they disobeyed the Lord and that they were um, basically being, uh, um, how do you say, being uh, invaded by the Philistines. To worship the false gods, and that, in that, we ought to understand that we can easily walk away from the Lord. But if we have a strong faith in the Lord, you know we're not going to walk away from God because He was walking. Sorry, uh, we we walk with God on a daily basis, and that we see signs and wonders. Of what God has done in our lives. And, and and that's why it's so important in in the book of Philippians that talks about work out your work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Or trembling. Because without that, how are you gonna fear God? How how are you how are you gonna work your own salvation out? You know? We are saved by Christ. Absolutely. But but when we walk with the Lord, you know, we, we will grow in maturity. We we will bear much fruit of the Spirit of God in our lives. And that and that many people believe that we should, you know, be saved, you know, you know, what's it called, um say the sinner's prayer and and do whatever you want, which is not salvation, which is not truly a biblical salvation. Yes, you know, we, we say a prayer to let God know that I want to change my life. But it is by your own personal relationship with the Lord that will help you grow in maturity through the power of the Holy Spirit. And yes, you will see signs and wonders. You know, if you lose a job, God will give you another job. You know, uh, you know, I don't know when. You know, it could be two weeks from now, three weeks from now. Don't know. But God made a promise. God made a promise <clears throat> to those who love Him that He will um, discipline you. He will uh, refine you by the fire of God. And truly understand that many people don't understand what true salvation is. And, and true salvation is through your personal walk with the Lord. Okay? Um, and, so, and so let's take a look at another part. Uh, number two, the Son made lower than the angels. Or, or, some, or some translation that has a, one of those... Um, one of those uh, little titles from you know if you read um, called the, the the pioneer of salvation and and when I look at this and I and, and, and I think man how powerful it is um, when we see um, in verse 9 says, but we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels to suffer death, crowned with glory and honor, so that he, by the grace of God, shall experience death for everyone. For everyone. So, Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice to pay the price for our sins. And and this scripture really really impacted my, my 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 Christian walk because I believe because of Christ that I begin to thank him for saving my life. You know, he died at a cross and you know, his blood um not only washes away my sins but uncovered by his blood. 
and that is really powerful if you if you truly um not really dissect the word but but really uh dig deep into the word is that you find out there's a lot of great um great insight and and, and revelation of what God is doing amongst uh not only the churches today but 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 really reaching out for the lost so that they can be saved through Jesus Christ. And and that's the beauty of the gospel is that we ought to be <clears throat> we ought to be evangelists to the whole world, not just Benny Graham, not just televangelists, not just um pastors and preachers and apostles uh, uh, apostles and prophets, uh, teachers, but us as the body of Christ, uh, we we ought to preach the gospel. We ought to be not ashamed of the gospel, because that's why Jesus Christ came, so that we can be. Oh, so uh, God became. Uh, sorry, God came on earth, and 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 so Jesus came on earth. And and he changes our lives through through his ministry. He changes us, and that it is by the power of the Holy Spirit that that we, being empowered by the Holy Spirit, go out to the world and proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. That's that's powerful. That, that that's powerful. Uh, last but not least, bringing many sons to glory. This is very, very interesting. The last part is very, very interesting because uh, it talks about how Jesus is the high priest, the, the merciful and, and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God to make atonement for the sins of the people. And man, you know, Jesus is the high priest. Not not the not the lineage the lineage of the Levites, but the lineage of um gosh what can't remember the the, <clears throat> the king and priest of Psalm uh of 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 uh Psalm I believe. I think it uh when 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 um when Abraham met the king of uh, Solom, uh, he he was he was a uh, king and a priest, um, and that tithing was first introduced. Um, can't remember the top of my head, but I may look it up later. But it's very very interesting that the same the same passage goes all the way back to Genesis. Where Abraham meet that king and priest of Psalm, <clears throat> but but man, what a privilege that God gave us through the Holy Spirit that we began to preach the good news, and what is that good news? It's that Jesus Christ came on earth, paid the price, died died at the cross and was resurrected three days after he passed away. And he's still living inside of me. He's still living for those who are in Christ. He's still living inside of you. Jesus is still alive today in that we ought to submit ourselves to the King and serve a wonderful God and serve his kingdom so for that being said for for your homework for tonight I want you to read chapter 3 I want you to read chapter 3 because I want you guys to write down what you find in chapter 3 and uh and I'll see you guys again next week. So may God bless you. 
We got uh, keep you, and I'll see you guys again next time.